I got for selling me clothes, Tokens for selling me blankets. If ever I list for a soldier again, Devil shall be me, Sergeant. Right, ladies and gents, um. It's my little, I, I call it my axe pouch. I've done a couple of three of these for uh, different people. And uh, I'd call to stop what I'm doing and uh, get on the machine and make something for myself. Uh, based on uh, everything's a design, you know, evolution, I suppose. So this is the Mac Tight Wad um, axe pouch, or I'm going to call it an equipment pouch, a cutting equipment um, pouch. Um, a few people have asked me. Um, Give us a look at this. I always like, like to see what I make up, what I come up with. Uh, a bit of a fertile mind. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's in a very dark rifle green, uh, Cadoran Island, Bergen material, 100 and near, which I love, and I found some. Um, that I'm, oh, that's, 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 that's the colour of it, and I'm gonna. Uh, oh, I'm liking that colour. So I'll come round and I'll just show you, show you what's inside this now. And again, we'll start at the back. Um, there is a belt loop so it can attach to any Bergen, you know, through one of the horizontal straps um, or a belt if needed. And here I'll put two D-rings on it. I managed to find these uh, belt keepers. In fact, it was Glenn that sort of um, had given me the idea of them. You do find them on the belts. So they can, they're just like the, exactly the same as what um, the leather things that people use to attach the knives. So that can come on and off and that will also go on any Molly system as well. So uh, I, I see this as being carried on the uh, outside of a Bergen or if necessary on your belt and ladies and gents we've you can put a shoulder strap on that very very easy so you could carry that over your shoulder if you was going from A to B as well okay so that's the way of it then okay size specifically for an axe um, multiple ways of attaching it to um, your Bergen or your body or even indeed a shoulder strap should you want to so we come out to the front side then at the front here um, put the match on the shot again with velcro as with anything sharps, there's first aid kit, and that's our army first field dressing. This thing is um, so new, it's the cotton still smoking. Um, I was working on it last night, put little attachments on it. Inside there's an army first field dressing, multiple uses. I will be, I've just put this in there to show you. That's going to be um, stuff where I just keep me tinders and a, a spare fire steel and so forth. And in here, well, just because I was bringing it over, some new fire lighters. Um, so. And I'm going to put some other stuff in here. That's just to show you sort of what you can actually sort of uh, get in there today as it goes, ladies and gents. And uh, we've already got some nice first aid bits. Glenn, uh, Glenn's brought a big bag of stuff over um, for us all to share out and that, which was very nice of him. Right. Obviously, now here it sort of, sort of differs on the inside. And again, just because I can, because I'm making it for myself um, and other people. Like I say, I don't, I've never made anything you could possibly buy anyway. Um, on the inside is a small little pouch there, and as we know, I love these little uh, tins. And again, not the finished item, but inside there's a lot of uh, you know the mops with wax on it. So again, for no reason whatsoever, I can always carry multiple carrier of these things. I always carry one of these because it's nice and small in my top pocket as well. I've smock, so I've got the ability to light fires if needed. Now I'll um, try and bring you in on another shot and show you what's inside, but. Um, Inside here is a, uh, a Grand Swords Brooks axe that um, I was uh, quite astonished when uh, Glenn turned up and come around my house and uh, well just give me this and, and I was giving him a few bits for his boys and that just sort of you know like everyone's got two cups and all that sort of stuff and so a few bits and a couple of patches I made for his boys and one for him and that and he's uh, made me a, a present of that which uh, absolutely beautiful bit of kit. Uh, Really, really love that, mate, and thank you very much. Uh, that was certainly going to get a uh, lot of use. Um, again, so it was sides for that axe, because that's the one that's going to be carried in there. Okay, ladies and gents. So, Glenn, really appreciate that, mate. And obviously, I'm going to be making another one of them. Uh, Glenn's seen this, and the moment he gave me that, I said I'm going to make a patch for it. I'm going to uh, do uh, exactly the same for Glenn. Um, let him have a look at this one decide what material he wants and I'll go away and obviously uh, as a way of thank you make him a top end pouch um, for his, he's got exactly the same axe as me um, he bought two and give one to me so on the inside ladies and gents um, I've sewed another pouch on the inside which goes down there, down the bottom along and I've made it so it's almost it opens like, you know, like the trousers on the side it bellows so you can put whatever you want in there and at the moment we have got a knife, uh, 
a Mora carving knife. I'll let the airplane go. <coughs> right, sorry about that, ladies and gents. Can be a pain. We do have aircraft taken off. And here we have, um, obviously, I've made an impromptu um, safety sheath for it at the moment. A uh, Whitlin spoon, Mora one. Um, very kindly given to me by uh, Glenn. Um, he's turned up my door and uh, just to say thanks for the few bits I've sort of shot his way. So, uh, sorry, when I said that, I meant Jerry. Um, thanks a lot, mate. So, Jerry, really appreciate that, mate. That will get a lot of use. So I'm, I'm going to aim to use that today as well. So, I'm just going to put that back in there carefully so I don't cut myself. Uh, and uh, obviously it's got the axe inside there that's fully covered and fully sheathed and the idea with this is it can go to the outside of my pack um, so I can get it quickly if I need it and uh, in between going from A to B it doesn't scare the um, scare the natives as it goes uh, uh, also inside um, a lot of karma goes around well this this whole thing is just total karma um, what's inside this pouch is uh, a a uh, Again, a Moira um, Whitling carving knife, and um, I sort of, um, Matthew, he, uh, LG for Outdoors, put this up as uh, to raffle, um, and the money going to help for heroes, and I bid on it, and I won, so thank you very much for that, mate. I'll let you find out, this is one he's made up himself, because he's put the blade in there. So, really appreciate that, mate, thank you very much. And what I'll do, I'll let this aircraft go over. Right, ladies and gents, so uh, there's the um, hook knife, um, the carving knife in there. And last, last but not least, very important bit of kit, I think. So I've got all my cutting tools outside of my Bergen act to access something I very much um, swear by is a, a traditional Laplander. But uh, even if you can't see it, inside there is a separate pouch um, that goes down there. So the knife. The Laplander <clears throat> and the crook knife, and I will be getting a sheaf sorted out for this at some point. Um, go in there uh, on that side and down enough. So when the axe goes in, is it goes down into its own sort of space. Doesn't get knocked about by this, so I'm not damaging it in any way. Um, when somebody makes you a gift, I always like to make something, you know, take care of it and that. Um, so literally, that's what's going to be in this. Um, what I call me axe pouch for want of a better word first aid kit and a few you know fire lighting kit in there you know i'll put that on there and that as well the idea behind that and i keep stressing this if i'm wandering away and it's a you know you can attach this to your belt or your shoulder or anything if you get cut when you're out there you know processing wood you've got immediate first aid there even if your main first aid kit bag you know underneath your basher in your bergen or something like that ladies and gents so uh that's it a lot of people have asked uh, i'll stick some pictures up for the facebook people i will be making another one of these especially for glenn and uh, he has got in fact, I'll clear this stuff away. I'll just show you this because it's a lovely bit of kit. Uh, last time we was here, um, cracking axe um, that Glenn's got, and he asked David just to, uh, as a favour, and as you know, he's a good old boy, David. Uh, he's made him a Kydex uh, sheath cover for it in the same manner as he did for another small axe I've got, and uh, done a really brilliant job on that handle. I'm loving this, um, the polish, the finish that he puts on that. So I said to Glenn, is as part of a thank you, uh, and he's gone, oh yeah, love that. Um, I will make him. Um, because in fact that only needs to be a exactly the same pouch but it will go I'll, I'll size it for this one which is slightly bigger than the Grants Force which is also got so he can just put uh, either the, the heavier axe in it or the lighter axe in it and in between it'll have the pouch on the front and obviously the pouch on the inside so we'll, we'll be making another one of these certainly one more um, um, so if anybody wants to see how I actually do, I'll do the little um, how, how to sewn up things, more than happy to do one of them so people can see, although I've done longer axe sheaths um, for, for people, um, I'm quite happy to do another how to video on that. So ladies and gents, there it is, um, obviously thank you Jerry for the knife, um, Glenn for the superb axe and uh, Matt LG outdoors because I've got that in a lovely bit of kit there thank you very much for that mate um that is what uh matt titlewood stopped and uh, just jumped on the machine and got one something done for myself again um 
I'm liking how that's come out and uh, like I say I'll be making another one so if you want to see how I've done that just even if one or two people comment um, I'll, I'll show you exactly how I made that so ladies and gents um, again I always like to say thank you when somebody uh, you know shoots me a bit of kit and uh, well I'll sew things up and that's what my take in on an axe or cutting uh, implement pouch so on that thanks a lot and uh, appreciate you watching this video